This is Kim Newlove, host of the Pharmacist Voice podcast. I'm publishing one podcast episode per day in the month of November 2020 as part of a challenge called NAPOD POMO. It stands for National Podcast Post Month. November is National Podcast Post Month, and the goal of the challenge is 30 podcast episodes in 30 days. Today is Tuesday, November 24th, 2020. 24 down, 6 to go. This is a bite-sized episode, which I'm using to help promote my new online course, Pronounce Drug Names Like a Pro. You can find it at kimnewlove.com or visit thepharmacistvoice.com and click on the store button. Have you ever heard the phrase, see one, do one, teach one? Another way to say it is, learn one, do one, teach one. What does it mean? It's a way to describe how knowledge is transferred. Here's an example. When my husband and I had our first baby, I had a C-section. While I was recovering in bed, my husband learned how to change our son's first diaper by watching a nurse do it. About an hour later, he had to do it himself. He had to see one before he could do one. When I was back on my feet, my husband got to teach me how to do one. See how that works? See one, do one, teach one. It works with diapers, and it works with more complicated stuff, too. Some people are great at seeing, doing, and teaching. Some only need to learn and do. They never end up teaching. But it's in the teaching that we're forced to relate something we know to someone else. Maybe someone who does not know what we know. Your level of mastery will be tested when you have to transfer your knowledge to someone who is on a different level. If you're a pharmacist who interacts with patients, you might know where I'm going with this. We're going to talk about pronouncing drug names. When I worked as a community pharmacist for nine years, I met patients every day who had never heard of their medication until their doctor prescribed it. It was my job to counsel them on their medication. I learned about their drug in pharmacy school. I became proficient at saying their drug name over a long period of time. When I think about the counseling experience, I don't ever remember pausing deliberately to teach my patients how to say their drug name. Is it a surprise that some patients don't know how to say the names of their medications? Something that I learned over a period of time, I expected them to be able to do after hearing me say it once. For some patients, hearing a drug name once is enough. When I created my drug name pronunciation course, however, I put a good deal of thought into the teaching part for those who needed additional learning strategies. I know what it's like to learn something for the first time. Some people just need to hear the correct pronunciations. Others need things broken down or explained in different ways. I'm pleased to say that I cover a lot of different angles in my course. Let's wrap this up. See One, Do One, Teach One is a way to transfer knowledge. Even if you already know how to pronounce drug names correctly, you can use the way I teach in Pronounce Drug Names Like a Pro to teach others. I teach drug name pronunciations to a range of learners so they can feel confident saying drug names. Join me tomorrow for another bite-sized episode.